Hello everybody, what's going on? Classy Video Games here, or CVG, and welcome back to Ziggurat. Now today we're going to be trying normal mode. Uh, I've tried this a couple times now, and uh, thus far I've had terrible luck. Uh, we're going to try one of the newer characters we've gotten while we were playing offline, uh, Agnes the Witch. Um, I have no idea what she does, this is the first time I've actually ever seen her. Um, Agnes hopes her mind clouding powers can be of help in this test. We will go ahead and see if that is true. And of course, um, I do wish this is true. This would be, of course, the... Oh, my, my microphone is falling over. Oh no. Um, that would, of course, be the best possible scenario. But, let's see. Um, they use the same female for every female in the game. Um, she has beautiful nails, I will say. Just gorgeous nails. Um, so, we'll, hold on. What do we have as far as her powers? Revenge, so she can stun people every time she's hit. The wand channels her power through both. It damages and weakens its, weakens its target. That's kind of cool. Oh, so it gives them, like, a, a weakening spell. Oh, nice. I'm actually totally game for that. I mean, it might not be the most useful spell in the game, but I'm totally down with that. I think it could definitely be of use. Come on. Suck it. Suck fire. Suck fire. PK fire. PK fire! That's totally copyrighted in, like, every possible way. PK fire is not mine. Ugh. Oh, wait. Stop. Stop with the stupid fire imps. The imps, I think, is my least favorite enemy. It's because A, they're flying. B, they're flying. What more is there to say? They're flying enemies. They're terrible, and I hate them with a fiery passion. Now, I'm kind of excited to see how the uh, revenge perk works, really, because, like, I really haven't seen it all too much. I, uh, I unlocked it just the other day while I was playing offline. And, uh, fun fact, I actually just got done recording an entire episode of The Witcher, but my mic wasn't on. So, that was an interesting little thing. Whoa. So, nothing but experience. It's cool by me. Experience is great. Experience is awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so our spell, our Hellish Ember spell, did come in handy. We can level ourselves up here. Mirror of Fate reveal item locations on all floors and maps. I think we'll go ahead and do that. That way we just kind of know where stuff is. And we can do a pseudo speed run, I guess. What you might call it. I don't know if we're now... Oh, God. Hello. Her wand sure is wimpy. I gotta say, this wand is making me sad. I do think that the revenge will do us some good against these things. The, uh, what are they called? Not the carrots, the other things. What are they called? These things that, that cockatrice. Cockatrice, that's the term. I don't know how I was blanking on that. I suppose I haven't played this game in a few days. Uh, quite a while, actually. I've been playing The Witcher. Um, Kind of a shame that, speaking of The Witcher, that that episode didn't go through because I honestly thought it was one of my better ones as far as my commentary went, but, you know, you can't win them all. Looks like we found our secret room here as well. That's always always a nice thing. Go ahead and get our free perk if we have enough wand power. This wand seems to be very underpowered. Channeling. Amulets recharge faster. Okay. I don't really use amulets too much, so I'm not super thrilled about that, I guess. I kind of wish I got something that was a bit more relevant to the way that we play, or the way I play, I guess. You guys are just spectating. But you guys are just as much a part of this as I am. I wouldn't, in, in fact, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys, so... Thank you very much for making me play this game. <laughs> thank you very much for making me play games in general. While, although it is something I do honestly enjoy doing, it also helps having a reason to do it. It makes me feel more justified in my gaming, other than just, oh, I wanted to. If that makes any sense at all, probably doesn't. I don't tend to make a lot of sense at times. Come on, stop. Huh. 
We've leveled up. What do we get? Alchemy pouch. Or right, we'll go ahead and get alchemy pouch. We don't have an alchemy weapon yet, but really, I feel like haste would mess me up. Quite honestly, it normally tends to moving too fast tends to get me killed. So I would rather avoid that if possible. There's one enemy left. Where is it? Oh, there's two enemies left, and they're right in front of me. Stop. I am enjoying this weakening wand, though, now that I'm kind of... Ooh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was horrible trap room. Just a terrible trap room for us. Maybe we can go back at it with uh, slightly more... With a bit more knowledge. Sorry, I sneezed there. Um, kind of a... Kind of a terrible time to have a sneeze, come on. Uh, I'm not going to read this. Not because it's not important, but just because I'm a little pressed for time right now. Um, I technically have to get off in like 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to get... Oh crap. Oh god, I've made a terrible mistake. I've taken the long road. No! I've taken the long route. Ugh. Should have been here by now. I'm sorry. I failed you. Oh my god. Fire and minions, stop. Not the cockatrice. Please, anything but the cockatrice. The cockatrice are, like, probably my least favorite enemy. Just ever. They just suck. They just suck. Oh, I guess I can use the fire to hurt the carrots. It's nice nice to know, and I suppose if I was a carrot, the fire would also hurt me. Oh, and I killed the cockatrice as well. How neato is that? I guess we'll go ahead and we'll take our newfound sort of powers, I guess you might call them. Of course it's going that way. It's never going the way I want it when I start. Follow this thing out, and let's go. I'm totally not ready to fight the boss, but really what other choice do we have? I don't see another choice. Unless we missed a room somewhere? Nope, we didn't. Of course we didn't. Of course we didn't. Leave it to me to come into a room with terrible... Uh, gun car the Crusher might be doable. As I say that, I almost die, but... Oh god. It's possibly doable. Try and get ourselves some. Oh god. The manas. Ha! Come on. We're actually doing. Much better than I thought. Don't end it now. Come on. Wow, we actually did it. I was totally expecting to die there. Meditation. Restore health and mana. That's good. I like that. Let's go, quick, before we before we get ourselves killed. Hurry. Go. I'm sorry if you want to see the stats, but I have to go. I don't have a whole lot of time. Oh no. What do we get? Some sort of an alchemy? Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Glad there's no fall damage. That may have just ended the game if there was fall damage. What a way to start out an episode. It's like, hey, chick no! You can't jump that far? That's, that's a bummer. You gotta learn- I thought you were a- I thought she was like a long jumper or something in high school. I assumed wrong. How do you even get out there now? How do you... How do you even get up there? Oh, wait, from right here. Ugh. Ooh, the Magma Blaster. Is this the new one? I believe this is the new one. You can only use your wand. Increased wand damage. Uh, 
isn't actually the worst challenge we could have gotten. Her wand seems to be, especially with the perk that her wand has, the wand actually isn't probably the worst choice in weapons that we have. But you can tell that she's obviously geared more towards the magic disciplines, more of like the sorcerer. Simon, I think was his name. You can just kind of see that that's more of his jam. Or her jam, I guess. Because this is, in fact, a female. I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Magma Blaster here, because I think we've used it once before. Also, I don't think we've ever been in this layout of room. So that's pretty exciting. New rooms are always, oh god. Oh no. Help. Help. I'm using up all of my orange mana right now. I can just hit a stupid thing with it. Maybe I can... Maybe I can kill somebody if I can just hit them with it. I need health very badly, by the way. For those of you who may not have known, health is something I'm very much looking forward to at the moment. Like that. Except, you know, not when I only have 20 health. Come on. Oh god. Who hit me? Oh, there's multiples of you. I thought there was only the one. Oh no. Oh no. Hit them while on the run. Come on. These are actually probably my least favorite enemies of all time. The, uh, I don't know what they are. Those little things. Whatever you may call them. <laughs> How did I know there was going to be poison in there? There's always poison. There's always poison. Poison's always the death. The death of me. Uh, let's go ahead and hit harder when we're at lower health. But in this scenario, I think that's going to be the good choice. Come on. Just... How do we get up there? There we go. I was going to say, there must be a way to like get in his face about it. You have to be able to get in his face about it. Ugh. That was... That was a bad room for us. It's a really bad room for us. We did get our shrines, though, which hopefully don't do anything too bad. Indifference, but... Okay. Mana, it's good. I don't have enough. 24? Oh, no, I can't. I just can't. Can't do it. Can't make the sacrifice. We got the portal key. That's cool. Digging the portal key. And off we go on our grand adventure. So far, the witch is not the worst. Uh, I do want to try her again. Maybe when I have more time and I'm not as rushed, so I can really take my time and make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, crap. We walk right into the boss room. Oh, no. No, oh, no. Crap. Not good. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Entirely not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. It's okay. You gonna open your mouth, babe? Let me hit you. There you go. You have to weaken her stupid little tendrils of doom and then we can blast her all up in this biz. No! Also, um, my brother, Gingerhead Gamer, is uh, very soon starting a series on Undertale, which is a, uh, my understanding is some form of it, I know it's some form of an adventure game, I haven't looked into it too heavily, because as you may remember from my attempt at Shovel Knight, I'm not super into adventure games, but he said it's a lot of fun, and he said it's really quirky and fun, and 
said he's really looking forward to playing it. So if you're into that kind of stuff, uh, please look him up. Um, I'll put a link to him down in the description. And you can go ahead and check out his newest playlist. I know he has not been on YouTube for quite a while. And this is kind of his uh, return to YouTube, as it were. So I am quite excited. Because I, of course, love doing YouTube and such. And it's good that my brother will finally be doing it with me again. We had initially made a co-op channel just for this, this kind of stuff. No. No! Please don't end it like this. Not on the floor too, boss. No! No! Oh, okay. Okay, not our best run, but, you know, for the amount of time I had, I'm not, I'm not entirely disappointed with that. Um, I'm definitely out of practice. I haven't played this game in about two weeks. But, uh, we got ourselves a librarian. We got ourselves a wand link. Flame mortar. Staff of Atlantis. Okay, we, we're getting all kinds of new abilities from this, so I'm super excited. Um, thank you very much for watching this kind of ziggurat fail. Uh, hopefully I will be doing better on the coming episodes, and hopefully you guys will tune into my brother's Undertale series as well as my new Witcher Let's Play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.